Welcome to Barefoot in America. We are in the Phoenix Sonoran Desert Preserve. Um, hiked Sidewinder Trail and Ocotillo Trail and just taking the time to film at sunset today the Yoga Nidra practice. So I'm going to invite you to just lie down in Savasana. I'm going to join you for at least a moment um, to get settled in but you want to lie in Savasana and when you practice Yoga Nidra you want to make sure you get comfortable enough that you really don't have to move or adjust. So take the time, if you like a pillow under your knees, grab it. Maybe a little bit of a roll under your head. And then simply let your arms drift away from you, your legs fall open. And start to settle in and get really, really, really comfortable. Feel yourself softening into the mat beneath you making any adjustments you need to so that you can stay in stillness for the next 15, 20 minutes. Scan your body and see if there's any other way you could settle in and relax just even deeper. And in Yoga Nidra, we want to stay consciously aware while we completely surrender and relax our bodies. So simply follow the sound of my voice and at any point if you drift away, come back to the sound of my voice. Begin by setting a sankalpa, an intention from your heart stated in a positive presence tense. Imagine your heart's deepest longing. And imagine taking action on that intention and visualize what that looks like. And now state that intention, your sankalpa, in your mind in a positive, present way. For instance, I move freely with ease and joy. I move freely with ease and joy. I move freely with ease and joy. Create your own sankalpa, stating it in your mind, letting it resonate in every cell of your being. We're going to take a journey now, a conscious rotation through our body. And I invite you to ma imagine a blue dot right at your third eye chakra, the place where if you drew two diagonal lines from your eyebrow center, they'd come up to the middle of your forehead. Imagine a blue dot there. You can even roll your eyes up and back in your head to look at that blue dot. Just this gentle illuminated pearl. We're going to let that blue dot travel to various parts of our body. See the blue dot at your chin, your right cheek, your left cheek, your right ear, left ear, tip of your nose, forehead, crown of the head blue dot in the back of your head, back of your neck, right shoulder, left shoulder, right elbow, left elbow, right wrist, left wrist, blue illuminating dot, center of the right hand, center of the left hand, 
tip of the right thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, tip of the left thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, notch in the center of your throat right chest, left chest, heart center, solar plexus, navel center, center of your pelvis, right hip, left hip, right knee, left knee, blue illuminating, illuminating dot, right ankle, left ankle, top of the right foot, heel of the right foot, arch, ball, tip of the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, pinky toe, illuminated blue dot, left ankle, top of the foot, heel, arch of the foot, ball, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe illuminated blue dot at the tip of your tailbone. Sacrum. Low back. Mid back. Heart center. Third eye chakra. Feel the whole right side of your body from your head all the way down to your toes. Feel the whole left side of your body from your toes all the way up to the crown of your head. Feel the midline of your body from your head to your pelvis. Now feel your whole body is one your whole body resting on the mat, your whole body softening and letting go. See yourself lying on the mat right where you are. Let your imagination take a journey. Picture yourself lying in a grassy green meadow. When you rise up, walking through the grassy green meadow, you see a forest up ahead. You walk towards it. You start meandering through the trees, the tall, beautiful trees, playfully scampering through the forest. And in the distance, you can hear the trickling sound of water. You follow that sound and come upon a babbling brook, a creek. You follow the side of the creek and the direction the water is flowing. Traveling downstream and you come across a big rock. You take a moment to climb on that rock and have a seat. Taking in the sound of the creek and the water flowing. 
taking in the smell of the forest, feeling a breeze on your skin, noticing the sunlight illuminating through the leaves of the canopy of the trees. Observing this space with all of your senses. Taking a moment to just be in this beautiful space. Spending some time here. Maybe you notice birds, critters, other sounds of the forest. Take them all in, smell, see, hear, taste the air, feel it on your skin. And after spending some time here by the creek, it's time to head back upstream. Going back the exact same path you took there, walking along the edge of the water, noticing wildflowers, leaves, undergrowth. And eventually, as you walk upstream, you meander back into the forest trees. Playfully finding your way through the forest, back out to that grassy green meadow. And as you step out of the forest, you feel the warmth of the sun it touch your face. Wandering back to where you were lying. Seeing yourself lying there, coming back home in your body. I'm going to recite a handful of words. Just notice the images that come into your awareness, not focusing on anything too long, going from one image to the next. Imagining it, feeling it, noticing any emotion it may evoke for you. Picture a roaring bonfire. The view from a mountaintop. A snowflake. A budding rose. peacock feather, the embrace of a hug, cold water on a hot day, a temple, a rain puddle, a deer running, a handshake, your home. clear blue lake, a bike trail, a flower bed, a 
cozy blanket. Rain on a window pane. A rainbow in the sky. Children laughing. The color blue. Fresh cut grass. A baby chicken. A kangaroo. An African safari. Yourself lying there. Your whole self resting on the mat. Your whole body fully letting go. Conscious awareness back in your body. Recreate, restate your sankalpa in your mind. Your heart's deepest longing you set at the top of the yoga nidra practice. State it as though it's already happening. Your yoga nidra practice is now complete. Gently return slow movement to your body, wiggling fingers or toes, rocking your head right to left, back and forth. Take a slow awakening, eventually bending your knees and rolling to your side. Take the pause, and when you're ready, press yourself back up to a nice, comfortable, seated position. Sitting cross-legged on your mat in easy cross-legged posture, Sukhasana. Bring your hands to heart center and Anjali Mudra. Bow your head. Take a moment to simply sense and feel your body after the practice of yoga nidra. Being grateful for your imagination, for your ability to be in meditation to find stillness, to take the pauses, to savor the moments to rest and restore your body, to recharge, to rejuvenate, to connect with your heart. As we send love and gratitude out into the world, May the principles of the yoga mat be with us as we walk the earth. May we find peace, love, compassion for ourselves and one another. I thank each of you for joining me in the practice of yoga nidra. Wishing you a beautiful night's rest or day ahead. Namaste.